Morning. How the hell are you guys today? Glad to hear it. How do you guys like my uh, Grinch sweatpants I got for Christmas? They're nice and soft. Anyway, before that gets any weirder, what is going on? You dirty old stash stains. It is me, and it is uh, early in the morning. I've got a lot of requests over the years of uh, making my own lures and trying to catch fish on them, and uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Just to make all the bluegill panty fishing just a little bit different. I am going to, uh, I'm screwed. I'm not gonna change. I'm gonna go to the hardware store and a couple places wearing this exact get up. Flasher hoodies are back in stock. If you guys want any, any support or any purchase of Flasher Hoodies apparel is greatly appreciated and helps me out a lot. That'll be linked in the description below. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to run to the hardware store and the tackle shop real quick, see what I can't find for stuff to make lure out of, and then, uh, yeah, and see what we can't uh, come up with, so. Hold, please. All right, so we got aluminum foil. We got the glue that is super. We got some uh, split rings. We got some snap swivels. We got some wire. We got uh, some tiny little treble hooks. And we got some other random crap. I don't know what this is called, but we might use him. And then we got some washers for weight. And then I also found some dirty little paper clips. Give me like 15 minutes. Catch back up with you guys. Let you know what I came up with. Should be crazy. Cats, do you have a problem? That's what I thought. Damn split rings never want to go on, do they? I think the masterpieces are done. We got the old Plain Jane Long Dong Blue paperclip. We got the smaller, probably more effective version the pink paper clip, and we got probably the most effective and the uh, longest time consuming lure, which would be that one. I mean, it kind of looks like a shitty low rent white trash buckshot spoon, and uh, I think it might work. But basically, I just took a paper clip, wrapped it in uh, some wire, and then wrapped it in aluminum foil, and then super glued it all together. I'm gonna really, really, really try to catch a fish on one of these two stupid ass ones, but. I think it's actually possible on this. These ones are a joke. This one actually might work pretty well. All right, I'm gonna get presentable. Gotta look pretty for the camera. And uh, I will meet you guys at the uh, local dirty shithole lake. See if we can catch some fish out of it. Pa pa. Come on, little Timmy. I know you're scared of hills. But you gotta conquer your fears. No more being a sissy. I don't know how well you can hear me because little Timmy's being a loud SOB back there, but we made it to the local city poop hole. I have not ice fished here this year, so I figured, what the hell, might as well give it a try. So we're gonna go out to this uh, little brush pile out here and uh, see if we can't make something of our lives. Our expectations aren't very high on our uh, paperclip lure, but do our best it's all you can do but there's a bunch of different species in here so it'd be nice to get a few different species maybe something big and uh yeah got a few hours to do it Let's see if we can make it happen huh there's a stick out of the water over there let's go check that out oh that's just a that's just a stick it doesn't actually go into the water 
<laughs> Why is it there though? Eh, who cares? All right, got about 10 holes drilled. We're gonna tie on the uh, silver dolled up paper clip first and uh, see if we can't find some fish. Look at him, he's just, he's just so pretty. He might be the best lure maker there ever was. Or the worst, I haven't quite decided. There it is, paper clip, lure, ready, set, go. First hole, there's either a suspended fish or a tree. Or both, looks like just a tree. Probably shouldn't drop below it though. I only have one of these lures, the dolled up ones anyway. There's some fish. They don't look very big, but hopefully they will bite our paper clip. They said no. That's not good. Because there was like four of them. And they still said no. We might be in trouble. We just need to find some really aggressive dumb ones. Come back. Nice. Nice. It's about the least desired of the species that are in here, but it's a fish on the dolled up paper clip. Ain't a terrible one either. Could be much worse. His face is kind of screwed up. I don't think that was my fault though. That looks old. He's probably been caught 90,000 times. We did it though. Like we did it in like the worst way possible, but we did it. We caught a fish on the dolled up paper clip, cheating a little bit, using a wax worm, and we caught a bluegill, which is like the least exciting thing ever, but gotta start somewhere. I raise our confidence a little bit. We do know they will in fact eat it. Now we just need something else, something bigger. More bluegills. I really don't give a shit. I just wanna catch something. I'm gonna do it. Oh, tapped it. weakest hook set in North America. I didn't know if he had it though. And he was pretty pathetic. That's part of it. That took forever. Got the tiny bluegill. Catching fish on this stupid paperclip thing is much harder than I expected. So we will take it. I thought I did a damn good job. Bluegills are making me feel Feel like I didn't. You gonna eat it? Giant. Another bluegill. Yippee. But it seems like when we get on top of them, the paper clip lure does in fact work not very well but it does work we might uh have to switch lakes that's what it's looking like there i'm going to cooperate here Oh yeah, that ain't bad right there. Look at that, we might have to actually have a shot after all. Just in that last hole, moved a little bit deeper. Pretty sure I missed a crappie. And uh, yeah, got one on the paper clip. That's one of the cooler looking white crappies I've probably ever seen. Pasty, pasty, pasty. Very, very discouraging couple days. This whole, uh, Catch a fish on a paperclip challenge thing is honestly getting the best of me. So is the end of ice season. But, uh, yeah, there's a couple more fish down there, but these ones are looking like bluegill. The bluegill are very finicky towards the uh, paperclip. They want nothing to do with her. Well, it ain't much, but it's an upgrade. Um, okay. There we go. Should this be a video? Shouldn't this be a video? I don't know, I've worked at catching fish for like two whole days on this stupid ass thing. I guess when it's uh, 
paper clip you're catching fish on. Maybe you don't need to catch as many to make it uh, worth a shit. If you can't tell, I'm definitely not positive patty right now. I'm pessimistic Pete. It's been a damn grind. Put another fish down there. Hopefully it's a crappie and not a bluegill because the crappie haven't hesitated. And by the crappie, I mean one crappie. Fish down there, but bad news is it's bluegill. Bye, bluegill. Thanks for looking at my pretty spoon. See you next time. Sadly, it didn't seem like a school crappie. It seemed like an individual one. But with what little battery we have left on the auger, we'll go searching. Come back. Come back. Got him. Nice. Freaking crappie, hell yes. Look at that dude, he's got a weird little mark on his lip. I've never seen that. I've seen him with like the whole, oh, I guess he's got another spot, but look at that. He's got a weird little mark right there. Well, not as big as the first one, but it is a crappie. It seems like the dirty old, what is it? I keep wanting to say toothpick spoon. I don't even know what the hell that means, but uh, it seems like the dirty old paperclip spoon. Works pretty well on crappies. I mean, if you want to invest in a paperclip spoon, don't expect to catch that many bluegills, but you might catch some crappies. You might. Probably catch more crappies than me, because I bet you got more than half an inch visibility. Or, in retrospect, maybe you'd catch less, because the spoon looks really, really stupid, and if the water was clear, maybe they'd be able to see how stupid it was. I think we're gonna have to give up on this idea. I think we should have gave up on this idea yesterday but we didn't because we're persistent and we never give up. With that being said, I'm gonna give up pretty soon. I just want one big fish. Oh, jeez. What was that? I just had something come soaring after it. What are you thinking, Bluegill? Your stupid ass brothers wouldn't touch the damn thing all day. Now you show up getting me all excited. Out of nowhere. Gotta give it to him, he's an ambitious little shit. I've never wanted to catch a bluegill on a paper clip so bad in my life. That being said, I don't think I've ever wanted to catch a bluegill on a paper clip. Do not try this at home. It's not very effective. Well, there's no way around it. This video sucked balls as far as fish catches go, but in my defense, I was using a uh, dolled up paper clip, as you know, if you just watched the video. But if you made it this far, I guess thank you for uh, staying till the end. I tried my best. I went to, like I said, four different lakes over the past two days trying to uh, catch fish on this stupid ass thing, and uh, I finally did. So I guess it's a success. Do I recommend you try this at home? Hell. No. If you like these uh, DIY uh, lure video things, I promise if I make another one, the next one will be better. Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment on your ideas, and uh, subscribe and stuff. I promise I catch bigger and more fish than that normally. If this was the first video of mine that you watched, I'm sorry. But please, go watch some of the others. I swear to you, there's big fish in some of them. But anyway, thank you for watching this one. I really, really appreciate it. Can't wait for open water. Thought I'd never say it, but it's coming soon, so stay tuned. Open water stuff, eventually here-ish, but for now, I'm gonna try to make the most of what's left of ice using regular lures, not paper hooks. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>